Well, it doesn't make good reading, does it, Esther, What's at all? Um, we've been known about this for about a year, um, and we've been conscious about the fact that there's been issues with property regeneration and highways. Um, but now they, the commissioners have come in and they've said that they want to uh, impose a commission around finance as well and recruitment and governance. And it really undermines the credibility of the city um, for outsiders. And when you're looking to develop businesses like I do, and you're looking to hopefully help businesses to land within the city, um, it doesn't it, it it creates a really bad image and um something's got to be done so are we going back to the bad old days of derek hatton and militant i i don't know i i don't think it's gone to that point i think liverpool has come on in strides and uh, obviously coming from the city yourself you, you you're aware of some of the real progress that's been made infrastructure wise um it's been made within the business community and for the first time in a generation i'm seeing young entrepreneurs starting business i'm working with a lot of them and there is a confidence in that now let's get it in perspective we are well behind our neighbors manchester who have a lot of the professional services engineering uh, high tech um, jobs we need more of them but there, i am seeing progress and it isn't the bad old days and hopefully the intervention from whitehall will actually make a difference and we can get back to where we need to be Mark, you say it's not uh, it's not the bad old days of militant, but I, I've been reading through this report and it estimates that Liverpool City Council by 25-26 year will have a gap in its funding of £98 million. The report says the process and culture for rigorous, transparent decision-making in Liverpool City Council are not in place. It says the council is not meeting its statutory duty to, to provide best value. And it says property debt levels increased to £10.2 million last year and it is not clear whether there is a strategy in place to recover this debt or even who is responsible for debt collection. I mean, it sounds to me like an absolute basket case reading through this, uh, this report. It doesn't read well, does it at all, that, Philip? It's, it's, it's a re you're absolutely right. It comes across as a basket case. And, you know, we've got to put a stop on it now because if we don't, then it's going to get even worse and we are going to end up with a completely bankrupt city. And, and what's that going to do to us as a city? It's going to leave us well behind. The government has set out a blueprint for the Northern Powerhouse and Liverpool is a key component of that. It needs to get its act together and they are making the, the, the right direction. Um, there are putting the commissions in. Hopefully that will make the difference. But I should say that in all of this, there are good people there. There are good people in the city who are being shortchanged, but there are good people within the council as well who, are, who feel as though that their governance um, is not doing justice to their efforts. And, you know, yes, we, we have got a big shortfall. We have to make that up and there have to be some hard decisions. But to do that, we need investment. And to do Mark, that, we need Mark, credibility. Mark, I, I have to say, as it's my home city, it, it does, um, it, it does, it makes my heart, it, you know, it really breaks my heart, this. And you're obviously following yeah. it in the Liverpool Echo, what's going on. So who is to blame then? Is it the mayor? Is it the CEO uh, who left? Is it the councillors? I mean, how are you going to get out of this mess? But who is to blame? I think when you look at blame, it goes back um, quite a while as well. I think you've got a governance system where there is, obviously, as we know, there isn't a great deal of opposition in the city and accountability, and that's been prevalent for a good number of years now. But that doesn't mean all things are bad. Some of the councillors there are, are incredibly good, but many of them have uh, been a, it's a dereliction of duty. But you look at the internals of the council now, since the CAP commissioners have come in, there have been some very high level departures, not least the chief executive, the, exec the director of regeneration and the finance uh, directors, including the leader, uh, the cabinet member for finance as well, on the back of a, a particularly disastrous uh, not paying of the electricity bill. As simple as that some, 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 in some ways. Um, so, yes, there is blame across the board. And you've got to look at it as, you know, we are as a city, we've got to take our collective responsibility as individuals that we get the right people in and we get the right people working with us.